All right, I'm good. I need uh, I need just a second to export this. Okay. Three, two, one, mark. Good to go. Okay. Live in five, four, three, two. Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode 21 of Let's Play Holy Warfare with Northern Lion and Mathis. Hello. Hi. So let's just uh, let's just dive right in. Let's let stuff go. Absolutely. Let's do it. The Pope loves me right now, by the way. That's busted because I don't think he likes me at all. He loves me. Uh, he's at 50, 53. <laughs> How does he feel about it? I can't even find I made him. I made him, I made him the honorary title of Venerable Elder of our country. Oh. He does so, like me. <laughs> so, Mathis, because you are ambitious, uh -huh. oh my god, I, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, a period of illness. It wasn't even me. It wasn't even you. I know it wasn't. I just, I, I was depressed and ill at like 23. But, um. That's scary. Anyway, my because you own the duchy up there in Carpathia and your character is ambitious, you desire my kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> you desire the kingdom of no, of, uh, no Tangri allowed. <laughs> A Roomba land? Yes. A Roombaville? No, no, there's a kingdom. The kingdom of Sweden, I think, I re renamed to No Tingry Allowed. Oh, okay. Mathis. What? Let's do some funny stuff, shall we? Funny stuff. That worries me a little bit. I don't know well, what you're I'm, talking about. Well, I'm Catholic, at least temporarily. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to install an anti-pope. And All right. as a result of that, then I can excommunicate anybody I want in my realm. Okay. And I don't know. I don't know what comes after that. Maybe like, uh, you know, wars for me to actually claim some counties and duchies, or just sending people to jail for free. Do whatever you want. I have. That so sounds like a fun thing. Anti-pope. Congratulations, Prince Bishop Ozar. <laughs> you are the anti-pope. You are the new anti-pope. For reasons I don't feel like talking about. <laughs> He's the Pope in Trier, which is great because I've they gave me so much trouble. <laughs> um, oh, he's fighting uh. like seventy wars at once. Whatever. Enjoy it. Historically, you're you're not in the norm here, mm. so. So I have a hunchback twin brother who is is literally taking all of my land except for two counties. Awesome. Oh no, a hunchback, hunchback twin brother. Hunchback twin brother sounds like a like a metal album or something. Hmm. I'm not happy about it. It's pretty good. Though. It was their best work, I think. Hmm. All right, well, what's the point in uh, making him an anti-pope if I don't excommunicate everybody? Who's Clement? Is is Clement the current pope? Uh, I think so. Yes, okay. His opinion of the current pope, by the way, yikes. But uh, <laughs> I like having this kind of power. Oh, I oh, wish I, I had my proper capital. This lady wants to become... <laughs> like, Ryan just ignores you. He's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what do you want out of that? I don't even know what I'm doing with it, which is great. I like that part of it uh, a whole lot. No, I am 81 years old. I am not to be leading troops in the front line, thanks. <laughs> You're, you've you got know, wisdom. It goes all my, my chances of, uh, of actually being able to reform the faith. Oh, my brother died. You're welcome. Oh, no. Thank you. Or good. How convenient. I brought him out into the forest for a hunting trip. To teach him the why, right ways. Why he would ever consider going with you, I don't understand. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fine. It's good. Is there uh, any way to I'm, sort I'm... vassals by religion? Mm, you can only do religious group, but yeah. Where do I... How do I do that? Search vassals on the character finder. Okay. I felt like I owed yeah. you. Search vassals. Ah, I see. Okay. Thank you. Whoa, what the heck, dude? I have a Cathar vassal? You're freaking me out. <laughs> Why can't I request his excommunication? Ah, oh, there we go. Request excommunication, maybe? <laughs> I installed you as the anti -pope. He's, He's still like, not to do it? <laughs> I'll think about it. I just want to wait for this war to end so I, you know, have a little bit more safety, but... That's amazing that he was like, eh, well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, thanks for, you know, the prestige and making me the religious head, contentiously, but still. <laughs> it's the highest honor that could possibly, you know, be bested upon a, uh, a religious man, but, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll consider it. <laughs> now he wants to be all pious. Is he my vassal? 
Yes. He's my court chaplain. That makes sense. Oh, man, a 260 gold tithe. Thanks. That's pretty nice. That is huge. Wow. <laughs> Who's saying you that? The religious head? Or is it... Uh, my tax one? collector. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I guess it's not a, it's not a tithe if... Uh, do we, or is it when the Pope is like, we, your struggle against the heathens has not gone unnoticed? I can't remember. Yeah, that's something else. Yep. What does this guy want? He desires control over the county of Dorostrum. All right. You get a county. You get a county. <laughs> there you go, buddy. It's all yours. I can <laughs> eh. usurp the kingdom of East Francia. Man. This little boy is calling me an infidel. Douchebag. I'm 80. Respect <laughs> your elders. That's what I was trying to tell him, and he just pointed his finger at me and says, "You're." I don't know where <laughs> I was going with that. You were. You're 82. How old was your your father? 84. 84, I think. My God, you have just an insane amount of longevity. <laughs> with the it end really of the Carolingian is... domination of East Francia, the realm is now more commonly referred to as the Kingdom of Germany. Adorable. I killed East Francia. <laughs> Sutri and Nug. <laughs> okay. Forever. Now I want to make like Germany my uh, primary title. It will not work though. Oh, it could work. Yeah, so let's do that. Cleaning. Um, All right, buddy. You should love me now. Yeah, you do. All right, good. What is it? The Kingdom of Germany is just like you know Where? roughly. Uh, 900 years earlier than historically was. <laughs> well, the Crusades were the same way. Yeah, right. <laughs> a pretty uh, historically accurate game we have going on here. <laughs> what is your, What is your war for? This is weird. Grant landed title. I just keep granting people the landed title that are old and will die, and then once they die, I get it from them. So You need to be murdered. That's a good way to do it. You get all the money they make while they... Take care of yep. it for you. Yep. It's great. Ooh, that, that guy's not going to like that. Oh, no. <laughs> that doesn't sound promising. I tried to assassinate somebody to make sure that I would actually get this done, but now he's trying to assassinate me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Click the button. See what happens. <laughs> oh, they divulged my name again. Come on. Mathis, <laughs> you have to murder. What? Help me murder this man quickly. Who am I murdering? Um, It's uh, Duke. Do sorry, Dog. Ippolito of Amalfi. It's in, uh, like, the southern part of Italy. Spell his name, Apolito. Uh, I-P-P. <laughs> O-L-I-T-O. Uh, nothing, nothing I-P-P. No one's coming up. I-P-P. I -P -P. Just go to Italy <laughs> and then look at Amalfi and then the, the cross coat of arms. He's right there. All right, hang on. There you go, buddy. Time, uh, time is of the essence. I am doing it as we speak. Okay, wh where am I looking? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> you you weren't looking at that at all. The I was, I was part busy. Of Italy southern part a of Italy. Realm called Amalfi, and then Amalfi, the coat Amalfi. of arms with the cross is him. This guy. Doge Ippolito. Yes. What am I doing? Killing him? Yes, he must be destroyed. For the good of uh, Carpathia. Nobody wants to join that plot. You can just, uh, I'm just throw try little... and assassinate him. See yeah, throw works. a little money at him. All right, come on, relax. Is he trying to assassinate you right now? Yeah. Also, it's going to be nearly impossible for us to. to I can't win assassinate him. He's like he's like a super low chance to assassinate this guy. What is it? Uh, twenty five percent. Ah, I took a twenty six percent chance. You just <laughs> throw <laughs> it at the wall, mean... see if it sticks, man. All right, didn't work. I tried it. I'll give uh, it another shot. Well, you have enough money. You could probably no. afford to try. As much as you need to. Yes. No, they just keep failing. You can do it, Mathis. I believe in you. He's trying to kill you? Why don't you just ask him politely to not do it? Yeah, end a pot. He's, he doesn't have the high enough opinion of me. Maybe if, if uh, Mathis asks. Can I ask him? Yeah, he's not I in wouldn't. our realm. He said there's no end plot button. Are you sure he's plotting against you right now? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was. Did you have auto stop plots on? I don't think so. How do you turn on auto stop plots anyway? Uh, um, press F7 and remember. then in the, the known plots tab, like right next to the known plots tab, there's a little button. Oh, yes. 
now I have turned it on. Vassals. I don't like my spy master. It makes me a little bit concerned. He said, uh, my liege, may your humors rot in your living body. Uh, <laughs> yes, I yeah. will auto-stop plots. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's not good. Yeah, that, that, they've got this score called their RP hostility, which indicates what they really think about you, regardless of their opinion. Oh, man. Really? Yeah, depending on their roleplay hostility score, that determines whether or not they will like be... Of? Um, their traits and how they match up with yours. Like, you know, you ever notice how when you're trying to plot and you, you see, like, some characters will have morality? Like, oh, yeah. you know, it's an amoral thing, I don't want to murder. And other people are like, eh, whatever, let's kill him, <laughs> sure. That's related to their RP hostility as well. So you don't want him as your spy master. He will plot against you. All right, well, hopefully he'll, my spy he'll master He'll kill you. Isn't... For instance, I'll go try him and just try to kill you. <laughs> Excuse me? What? <laughs> I'm a child. I, I can't start any plots, but... Uh, Emperor, right, leave me alone. <laughs> Can I, uh, uh, now that I have an anti-pope, how do I uh, get crusades? Can you not call um, crusades with an anti-pope? You need to install him as the actual pope. Oh, uh, that sounds like it's going to take a while. Well, considering <laughs> that it's owned by your liege, then... <laughs> oh, wait. That's, little, that's a very good point. It's going to be a little tricky to, to attack the current pope. I think you'd actually have to attack Mathis, because he's the liege of the Pope. I prefer you didn't. <laughs> Sounds like a good time to go independent, right? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. We're getting there. Uh, Offer, oh, what is your problem? Where are you? Now I'm fighting against Pisa? I don't like Sounds it. reasonable. I, I like clean wars. I like wars that are over quickly. This one, like, people die over the course of the war, and then things change, and then... Uh, just, just messy, messy, just messy. Just give me the land! I'm the king of Germany! <laughs> oh, you're the king of Germany now? I, I, yeah, I made, uh, made Germany my primary title. Oh, You have three kingdoms. Mm. This worries me. Ah, whatever. Why would it worry you? I don't know. <laughs> you have, if you check the ledger, you are, like, the most powerful character in the entire map. Who's the king? King of Germany. Oh, there It'd you be are. me. Oh, you have okay. been beat by like four times. I, just, <laughs> I, know, I, just, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I still am not secure. Like that. That there's something that just won't happen that'll just destroy me. The only thing that could really stop you from world domination at this point is if you somehow manage to have multiple host wars declared on you at once, or gotcha. if you don't manage the horde invasions well. And those are still a ways out. Like 400 years away. All right. Well, there's the Khazar uh, guys will show up in like 100 years. and then mm. But the Mongols are like 1300s. Yeah. So you're fine. But you are 83. So if you could just go ahead and die soon. <laughs> I'm working on it. I mean, come on. My character died a natural death at 23. Why the hell are you still alive? <laughs> That's a really good question. It would be a real shame if I declared independence like right when you died, man. That's... It well, it be... depends on how loyal my and the people would be to my to my heir. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. What I'm scared <laughs> of is your your heir is only 21, so you'd end up ruling for like 80, you know, 60, <laughs> 60 years with him. Well, it doesn't help. Like my current character, he's strong. He's a brilliant strategist. Um, what else is giving him health? Oh, quit bragging. No, I'm trying to figure out why he's living so long. Well, it's it's That's just it. because the. Those two things. He's got yeah. 7.5 health score. I want to see him live until like 100. Like, your character's so strong, he could be maimed and sick, and he'd still have about the equivalent health score of what normal people have. <laughs> <laughs> Just lose a leg. No big deal. Oh, this is great, because I'm still Catholic. But then I get these pop-ups, and it's like, More Catholics have risen up in Lorraine! <laughs> Infidel scum! <laughs> 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 Oh. You're zealous, too. Come on, from a roleplay standpoint, how could you possibly <laughs> stay underneath Mathis? You... I'm waiting for the right opportunity. <laughs> See, what happened was, this is what happened, is he he sent himself off to me to get killed. For We won't worry about the roleplay reason for that. But on his <laughs> way there, he learned the error of his ways, became yeah. Hungarian and Tengri, and he jumped into my empire, and all of his kin now are stuck here until they have to rebuild their power till they can actually declare independence. Exactly. Because of one mistake, one someone made, 
The rest of his family is now stuck in Carpathia. Mostly, it's like, I just got a huge love of paprika when I went to uh, <laughs> Hungary and decided, like, how, how could I hate people that have such a glorious love of a great spice? I mean, that's uh, another good one. Let's have some goulash. Seems perfectly reasonable. Mm -hmm. I like this Byzantine... Oh my god! The Byzantine uh -huh. ruler is not uh, as handsome as he used to be, but in, you know, to make a Roomba feel better, he does have a beard now. Well, that's really good. He's also blind. I should have hired a mercenary for this battle. Where did the uh, Byzantine emperor recl... Oh, there, there he is. Oh yeah. 61, no eyes. Mm -hmm. Happens. He's still lustful. <laughs> Come here, sweetheart. Where'd you go? <laughs> That's the uh, Byzantine accent, by the way. That was, that was really good. <laughs> I, you sold me on it. I'm thinking of declaring war and, and just finishing up Italy at this point. Yeah, man, let's declare war on Pisa. I'm fighting them right now. Well, like, I'm trying to declare war. I can only do it one county at a time, so I might declare war on Amalfi and just trying to gobble them up. Sure, if you do that, and then... What does an embargo war do? You just end up burning down their trade posts. That's boring. <laughs> if you press the G key, you can see the trade map mode, and you can see where there are actual trade posts built. Right now, there are barely any. God this damn it. the Amalfi. Ryan, you're friggin' Catholics over here. Yeah, I know, right? Are a pain in the ass. And uh, they keep getting these pop-ups because they're Mathis, popping up in your area. Our borders. Many people are now agreeing to vassalization. Who? Oh, who's, who's agreeing? Uh, I think we just got Bavaria. Oh, really? You won't accept my offer? It's got to be close. Three versus five. Small difference in rank and base reluctance. Oh. Give her a little bit of money. Why do you always assume it has to be a her, Mathis? Why do you always assume? I, I gave him money, and he still did not... Um, no, not a fan. No. But if I improve relations, maybe. I'm going to take him over anyway. We All might right. as well just Amalfi. make this easy. Amalfi, Amalfi, Amalfi. What can we do with you? Oh, I have men raised. Never mind. I can't declare war on you right now. Lombardi's a real pain in the D, you know? Yeah, definitely. They refuse to <laughs> accept. <laughs> a pain in the D, not a, not a pain in the ass. A pain in the D. <laughs> They're hitting me where it hurts. Also, this Catholic uprising is 80, minus 84%, Mathis. That's, yeah, no, that's why I'm over there right now, taking oh. care of it. Oh, I just I just saw those guys. They've been they're, like uprising your men. for like 20 years, with, like <laughs> uncontested. I'm just like, oh, what the fuck? Fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> you guys are obnoxious. All right, don't lose this battle. If I lose this battle, this is going to be an annoying situation here. I think it should be okay. Mm. Two years to go, and I'm finally not a, a child anymore. <sighs> How many men are here? 1900, three. Okay, so it's going to be... I have one more man than they have. <laughs> Let's fight this out. 2245 versus 2244. The 23 Marshall leader. Frickin' Catholic it, Uprising. It will be done. Ass. Why do you have an advantage? I need to learn, like, troop types, because that's where I seem to get screwed on these advantages. I'm more or less capable of not throwing myself over major rivers anymore, but, uh... Like Another this raving mob of infidels. What is your there. problem? It's relax. Oh, okay. Just I, where was your cat call when it, you're gonna lose the battle? I wish you told me that before I moved my troops all the way over here. Who? I'm talking to my cat. Let's make it. Oh, oh <laughs> I'm getting really confused. You? What's your problem? Um, so you wait. You want to talk about troop types? Yes. Um, because I, I keep getting these uh, like negative modifiers, and they'll be like pike man attack minus ten percent or something like that, and and I don't know what the why. Uh, that's just because of the combat tactic that your commander's using. There's really nothing you can do about that. Okay. Like the only time that you need to worry oh. about troop type is with retinue selection, really. Oh, son of a bitch! That's where the Catholic uprising is. Zagreb? Huh? It's in Ireland. Seems like a pretty good place for one. That makes a lot of sense. God damn it. Ah, it's such a pain in the ass. All right, fine, Ireland. I'll play this fucking game. <laughs> Let's go. Let me why I can't... Oh, he's not at peace anymore. Who the heck is Baden fighting? There's too many wars, Mathis. I know. I'm Life's sorry. tough. It is. It's fucking annoying. 
This war with Pisa is stupid. Can you can you declare war on Pisa? I'm uh, busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you just declare war on them, crush their army, which is two counties away from you, you have ten times the men, and then I can just swoop in and then... I mean, that's true. Then, then the war is mm -hmm. going to be over, basically. He's always going to be there for you, right? I'm always going to always gonna make it easy. Look, I, we're painting the entire map in, in his color. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right, I don't know right. who opened this. Zawumba. Uh, I okay. think it was me, yeah. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow, same time, same place. As always, like the video if you did enjoy it, which we would assume since you watched episode 21 or whatever we're on and made it all the way to the end, you probably liked it. So please click that button. It does help out quite a bit. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Later. Bye.